Hi guys! I'm here today for a ball jointed doll box opening video. So no art today. Uh, we actually got a doll in. Um, from France. Um, sorry I'm breathless. I've been running all around. <laughs> um, I was totally shocked that this arrived at the door. Um, uh, tracking hadn't updated but it was today is Tuesday and it was mailed last Wednesday. So I really didn't expect it to come for, I mean, I usually 10 to 14 days at, at the, you know, at, oh, here we go. Let's see if I can open it here. Um, 10 to 14 days is like, for most of Europe, that's kind of a minimum. Um, so I was very shocked. Uh, the Colissimo tracking um, that was out of uh, France uh, said that it was in, um, okay, here's the top said that it was in San Francisco customs yesterday, um, but it didn't say anything about leaving customs. It didn't say anything about being out for delivery today. Um, okay, I think it opens this way. Oh my goodness, okay. So yeah, all the way from France. Um, this is my Napalm Dolls Hush. And I was as usual, I uh, discover a doll um, after it's already had its pre-order. <laughs> um, and so I was stalking and waiting for the next pre-order to happen and was fortunate enough. Okay, here's a box in here. I'll get it out. Was fortunate enough to get in on that pre-order. And I can't remember right now when that was. Um, maybe September, October. I really, I really can't remember. Um, maybe I'll try to put those dates down below because some people are interested in those sorts of things. Um, I never, I never go in the DOA waiting rooms and I've always found them very confusing. <laughs> Am I the only one? Um, oh, here is my little naked Colleen. I'm getting my room, uh, doll room organized for the end of the year doll tag and it takes me at least a couple of weeks usually to groom everybody uh, so that I can be ready to do the video and show everybody and this is Arwen that was her whimpering because she's had a whole two seconds without me petting her and here it is oh my gosh oh my gosh um so uh napalm dolls uh her name is Gwendolyn and uh, this is her sculpt. This is um, Coma, and he is kind of, I guess I see him as a bit of a fishy boy. He's got these kind of fish elf uh, ears. Um, he is on a uh, Dolshi fashion body. This is the Khan body, and he is wonderful. I've shown him in some videos. Um, Arwen! can have a, this whole video without you getting attention oh my goodness I know I know so here's the box it says purple and it says makeup oh my goodness I'm so excited oh, oh, oh. yes so fantasy resin go. oh good you guys can see okay I have the camera tilted enough um can you see this little monster? This little monster right here. This little monster. Yeah. I know. Very spoiled little French bulldog. Okay. I can see her. Oh. So I know that uh, she was supposed to come with a um, uh, like a little carrier thing and her seamstress didn't get them finished in time for her to mail them out. Um, so here's what's in here. This is, oh, I love it. Look at that. I think that's, that's like going to be the color of my girl. Let's see, I've got this lamp here. Um, as the main source of light because the <laughs> the sun goes down at like 2.30 
um, I'm kind of, not really though. I mean, that's, yeah, 2.30, especially when it's overcast, it gets dark. Um, so, there we go. This is, oh, look at, oh my goodness, Napalm Dolls. Hush, third pre-order. Oh, it's a third pre-order already. Wow, Cause so she's number 75 of 78. She's purple. Uh, date de Moussance, is that like her birthday? Um, or, or mailed? I'm not sure. 12-7-2019. Uh, maybe that's when, maybe that's the date she got her back from the caster. Um, I know they do their dates uh, backwards from what we do here in the U.S. Um, so I think that's probably when she got her in from the caster. Oh, look at this. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. I have wanted one of these pins so badly. I'm going to need to get a board for all of my pins that I've been starting to collect, which is not a, a lot, but... So that is a enamel pin of Hush, and I love her hairstyle. <laughs> you are a spoiled baby. You are a very spoiled baby. Okay, okay, I know. Come here, come here. See, there, look at there. No, I need kisses, I need lots of kisses. I need lots and lots of lovers, yes, lots and lots of lovers. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you guys. So excited. Put this cleaning tower pizza box there. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh you guys, oh the resin is so beautiful, oh I'm so excited, look at, she's amazing, she's amazing, oh look at her legs, oh they are fantastic, I love them, oh, the sculpting is so gorgeous. Let's take this off carefully because I think her hands are blushed too. Oh, look at her body. It's so amazing. I love her butt and her belly. Oh, these knees are so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, just going to carefully unwrap this. I don't want to yank it off. Oh, I love the washi tape. It's so cute. I'll put this in my journal. Save it. It's got, oh, it's beautiful. It's got like unicorns and it's pink. Oh, 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 oh. That's just one hand. I can look at the beautiful hand. Gorgeous. Little purple manicure. She did it. Oh. Oh, I think that looks fantastic. Oh, that little purple panicure or manicure. Panicure. <laughs> it's a veterinary drug. <gasps> panicure. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I will try to get some good pictures to put at the end of this too, because I know um, it might not be the most clear on the video because of my light. So I'm unwrapping the other hand. And oh my goodness. Oh, I love it so much. I love the blushing. You too, Arwen, you too. Let's unwrap her head very carefully, very, very carefully, very carefully. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love her so much. She's incredible. She's incredible, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Here, let me change this camera and see if I can get a better view for you guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, there we go. Let's see. Here you can see she has got these small iris, sparkly pink eyes, which are actually pretty hard to see. But they're so beautiful. I am in love. Oh, this resin is incredible. I'm not sure who her caster is. Um, let's see here. Where is... Let's put her next to... Oh, that's right. Yep. So it's it's a doll cast, Dolls Casting Service in Russia. Yep. I thought... That's right. I remember now. I remember seeing the, the pictures of the dolls. So... Oh, but that explains why the... I mean, sanded, not, not, a, not a seam line, not a sanding mark like exquisite, exquisite. And um, I, I was thinking that her head was smaller like my pygmies, which, um, I mean, they have really small heads. I don't know what I was thinking. She's definitely a lot uh, taller than them. Um, she's, I don't know, she's probably 31 centimeters and I'm just guessing there. Um, but this is, she actually fits, um, she fits the same wigs that my uh, Menangenu wear. And this is my latest um, uh, Amadaz Beauty Studio, or Amadaz Studio. This is my latest wig from them. It is an Angora fiber wig um and it looks really beautiful on her with her colors i am just oh you guys i'm so in love like i don't want to put clothes on her she's too gorgeous um oh and i want to draw her uh oh my gosh um so yeah uh <laughs> my goal was to have my uh, bo box opening video done. I was going to do it tomorrow and I still might. Um, oh, she's single jointed in the knees. I actually thought she was double jointed because she looked so... Let's play with her joints, shall we? Sorry, you guys couldn't even see. So there is her sitting. Let's see. Let's put her in a sitting position. Um, there we go. I love her little footsies. Oh, I would love to body blush her the rest of her body. Um, oh, I just, the sculpting is, let me see if I can try to show it. Look how gorgeous that is. Get my face out of there. Beautiful. So pretty. I love it when the soles are sculpted too. Yeah, that, oh, it's just the best. I just, I love her anatomy so much. I, I will never get sick of the big hips and the small top, like, uh, what do they call it? The pear bottom girls, like, fight me. I, I love it. <laughs> I love the aesthetic. Um, I will never be sick of it. Uh, so thank you so much to uh, Gwendolyn for painting my girl for me. I, I couldn't be happier. Look at her, she's amazing. And it's, this is, this is Gwen's work, you know, like this doll, the painting, everything about it is her work and her aesthetic that I love so much. Um, and uh, she's working on a, um, like a 30 centimeter boy, uh, and he looks incredible. Um, I know it's hard work. Gwen, don't give up on him. Please finish him. I I need to have him. I think I want him in blue. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to keep this video short and sweet and get it uploaded and um, post a bunch of pictures of her too. So, thank you so much, Gwen. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm back. <laughs> Taking some photos, and um, oh, I guess I can't zoom with the uh, selfie lens. 
Um, but I wanted you to show the, the size difference. Um, uh, the, the chroma, coma head, um, and then a Mary Doll Round Pygmy. This is the Bunyal, so she's definitely the shortest. Um, and she, she is wearing heels, but so is this girl. Let me set her up here too, just so you can get uh, an idea. Um, I knew that she was bigger, uh, but it's amazing. You think 10 millimeters, or excuse me, 10 centimeters isn't that much, but it really is a different, a whole different scale. Um, but I love all my fantasy colors. Uh, I would, I would love to have, um, the, uh, the new boy she's working on that she calls Puppy. Um, I think he's going to be in a similar scale as her. Um, I would love to have him in blue resin and, uh, I would love to get a coma in fantasy resin at some point too. Um, so... But uh, things that I wanted to say is this is the first girl of 2020, um, this new year and new decade, and I'm extremely help hopeful and uh, optimistic that things are going to be really good. Um, Doll-wise, uh, I am going to be more particular and choosy uh, and be buying artist dolls, um, and supporting these small independent artists like this, uh, I, that's really important to me. Um, Gwendolyn, uh, I think she's an amazing artist and she is what, she helped inspire to get me back into drawing and making marker art. Um, she did she did Inktober, Inktober 2019, and she did it start to finish, and she had these wonderful ink drawings that she colored with pro markers and watercolors, and I was so inspired and loved every bit of it, and um, if she makes that as a little Inktober collection, I will definitely be first in line to get it. Um, so, yeah. Thanks so much, Gwendolyn, um, for painting my lovely girl, and... I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Who's spoiled baby?